It's a great night to be here. Jennifer Lopez is with us tonight. There's a lot of enthusiasm. There's a, here's how it works when Jennifer Lopez comes to our show. I pull up in the parking lot. There's 100 photographers already. I get out of the car, they do this. They're like, oh. What time does J-Lo get here? And Jenny shut down the whole block. Hollywood Boulevard's closed uh, for the premiere of her new movie, Shotgun Wedding. It's right across the street. I don't know why this section of the audience is still standing. Sit down, will you, for God's sake? I know at church they tell you to sit down, but here you're supposed to just do it. <laughs> uh, President Biden is headed to California tomorrow to visit the areas that were affected by the... Here, Jim. What is this? For you. Oh, I have some breaking news. Uh, oh, some sad breaking news. The oldest person in the world, a French nun named Sister Andre, has died. Sister Andre was 118 years old, and um, she will be missed. That's very sad, but congratulations uh, to the world's new oldest person, a winemaker from Argentina named Manuel Paso. He is 116. He turns 117 next week. Yeah? This is for you, too. Oh. One more. Oh, wow, I'm getting some more sad news. Argentinian winemaker Manuel Paso. <laughs> has just died peacefully in his sleep, just short, shy of his 117th birthday. He lived a long and meaningful life. He was loved by so many, but congratulations to Edith Cornwall of Quebec, the brand new oldest person in the world, 115 years young and full of life. And we, Edith, we offer you our congratulations. This is for you too. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a drawing of a turkey. You know, I forgot to give it to you for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Maybe after the show would have been better. Oh, okay. Can, can, I, can I hug J-Lo? Get back to your spot. <laughs> Leave J-Lo alone. You know, in Washington, it's committee assignment week in the House of Representatives, where a lot of the focus has been on a colorful new member named George Santos. George Santos. Uh, despite being exposed as a fraud, ha this guy has an almost comical list of lies to his name now. It was assigned to not one but two committees. New Speaker Kevin McCarthy put him on the Science Committee and the Space and Technology Committee, which makes sense because he's the only congressman who found a cure for cancer and successfully manned a mission to Mars all this year alone. But <laughs> George's former roommate was on CNN last night, and it's always a bad sign when your former roommate's on CNN. Never a positive, where he alleged that his old pal was, on top of everything else, a scarf thief. Santos actually stole something from you. Well, yes, many things. I noticed uh, a Burberry shirt and a Burberry scarf were missing. Uh, my best friend Danielle had given it to me um, on the anniversary of my grandfather's passing. And it was more of a sentimental value. I understand he was actually wearing something he took from you at a pre-January 6th rally in Washington? If, is that yes, the scarf? you can believe this. He has the audacity, yes. Wait a minute. That is the, He's wearing the scarf. A stolen scarf to a stole, steal the election rally. No, well, hey, what's the problem? Stealing was the theme of the rally. Of course you're gonna. <laughs> the Burberry bandit is on the loose. And while um, pinching your buddy's scarf might not be a capital offense, raising money for and then keeping money from a GoFundMe you started that was intended for a sick dog. Well, that there is a ticket straight to hell. What was he having GoFundMes for back then? Uh, his, he had a uh, pet charity, Friends of Pets United. Uh, it was supposedly to um, help out with, you know, sick animals and things like that. There's actually um, just an article released about how he conned a, a homeless military vet out of $3,000 for his uh, service dog. His roommate says he conned a homeless veteran out of money intended to save his service dog, which had to be put to sleep. Well, you checked every box with that one, that's for sure. Uh, he's been accused of stealing from a dog. He's literally a Scooby-Doo villain at this point, and he's in Congress. The roommate also said Santos told him that he used the Jewish-sounding name, Zabrowski, for the GoFundMe because he thought it would encourage Jewish people to donate more. It turns out George Santos might not even be his real name. He's gone by uh, a number of names, including George Santos, Anthony DeVolder, Anthony Zabrowski, LL Cool G, Supreme Court Justice George Bader Ginsburg, George Costantos, Melania, Malala, Madonna, and King George Batman Santos Clooney. He's also 
According to a reporter who works for NBC, he was also a drag queen in Brazil, in the red there, uh, who went by the name Kitara Ravash. So uh, I don't know what his real name is, but all I know is he's beautiful. That's, and he's gonna make a pretty damn fine president of the United States. Meanwhile, Donald Trump workshops some new material today on his uh, imaginary social media platform where he's got a new excuse for why he had 15 boxes of secret documents laying around Mar-a-Lago. He wrote, the fake news media and crooked Democrats, that's been proven, keep saying I had a large number of documents in order to make the Biden classified docs look less significant. When I was in the Oval Office or elsewhere and papers were distributed to groups of people and me, they would often be in a striped paper folder with classified or confidential or another word on them. When the session was over, they would collect the papers, but not the folders, and I saved hundreds of them. I think that's a confession, by the way. <laughs> Remember, these were just ordinary, inexpensive folders with various words printed on them, but they were a cool keepsake. <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you say that in the first place? If we knew they were a cool keepsake, I'm sure hiding them in the bucket of chicken you put them in would have been fine. <laughs> I'm sure that a hold up in court, no problem. Your Honor, it's not a felony, it's scrapbooking. And then he wrote, perhaps the Gestapo took some of these empty folders when they raided Mar-a-Lago and counted them as a document, which they are not. It's also possible that Trump-hating Marxist thugs in charge will plant documents while they're in possession of the material. As president, and based on the Presidential Records Act and Sox case, I did nothing wrong, Joe did. <laughs> This is how my five-year-old complains. I did nothing wrong, Jane did. Can he ever just post something like, Happy National French Toast Day? I mean, really, Trump is, by the way, gonna be in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina this weekend at a hairlining a memorial event to celebrate the life of one of his bigliest supporters who recently passed away. Please join us on Saturday, January 21st in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She loved that state and so do I as we celebrate the life of Diamond. She lived it in a credible way, and we're going to have a wonderful celebration and ceremony. All of Diamond's families and Silk. We love Silk. Her sister, she loved her sister so much, and they loved each other. And they really loved the world. They were with me from the beginning, and they never wavered. So we're going to celebrate. Silk will be there, but I'll be there. and. We're going to celebrate the life of Diamond. <laughs> Mary, what I wouldn't give to be at that memorial service. How long do you think he'll talk about Diamond before he starts talking about Donald Trump? Like, I say four minutes of how much Diamond loved him, followed by 85 minutes of how much he loves himself. You know, Twitter, Elon Musk is trying to recoup some of the uh, massive losses he's incurred by selling office supplies. For real, they're holding an auction. They're selling all their stuff. Today's the last day. You can bid on high quality items from Twitter headquarters, like um, this desk uh, with a <laughs> Twitter employee sleeping under it. You could get a, uh, a pool table with a Twitter employee sleeping on it. Uh, there's a special crying table for sale. Uh, there's a six foot statue of the Twitter bird and this uh, 40 inch monitor that um, Elon, I think, took this picture himself, because if you zoom in, you can see, yeah, he's <laughs> selling his clothes, too. Are we sure Elon Musk is a genius? Because he seems to have turned Twitter into Radio Shack. <laughs> Speaking of random items, there's a, 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 a thread on Reddit called, what is this thing? It's great. People post photos of weird items they find, and then strangers will write in helping them solve the mystery of what the strange items are. It's fun. So we decided to make it a game. We took real photos from Reddit, went out on a Hollywood Boulevard to see if people walking by could help identify them. And it's time to play now, what is this thing? What is this thing? All right, so take a good look and uh, try to figure out what it is. And now we'll find out what people on the street think. What is this thing? Put it in the ground, grab the weed. A weed plucker. It's for shish kebabs. Some type of dildo as well, probably. A dildo? Yeah, some type of dildo. It could be. It looks like, a, you know, like a knife with a with a tail on it. There, there's some kind of release device here because I can see it coming down, kind of like a pair of vice grips. When you clamp it together, you squeeze it, and it releases, lets it pop. So it takes the inner layer of the fruit and opens it up, breaks it down so you can pull it out and possibly pour it into something 
and make a margarita with it or something. Coconut, you gotta admit, it's pretty, that's, that's a solid shell on it. People have died from falling, right? There's more people yeah. that died from those than shark attacks. Coconuts, yeah, because in uh, other countries, they fall asleep at the bottom of a coconut tree and a coconut falls, hits them in the head, boom. Game, game over. So, just to corral you into an answer here, it's a device to bore a hole into a coconut to get the milk out. Something like that. I'm thinking something like that. Oh, all right. Oh. Well, Mike has an active imagination. So let's see if one of his 10 answers is right. Is it a weed plucker, a shish kebab skewer, a dildo, or a coconut milk extractor? What do you think? It's, all right, let's find out what it is. It's a cranial perforator for draining fluid from a baby's head. Oh, that is so much worse than I expected. Not if you're a baby with a head full of fluid, it isn't. All right, here's the next item. What is this thing? Look at it, and let's see what the pedestrians say. Yeah, it's a container for cyanide pills for spies. Some kind of musical instrument? A musical instrument. I'm, I'm gonna go with a toy of some sort, like a video game, but like old. An old video game. What is this thing? That rope is interesting because it looks like you'd put the end of the lanyard through the through the loop and then pull it. Maybe, see, I looked at it, I see these screws and I'm thinking, it's screwed to the piece of wood. It very well may not be, but uh -huh. when you pick it up, it's gonna, it's gonna invert itself, right? You're gonna get a reverse angle out of it. But what do you use, what, what, what is it? What do you use it for? What would I use it? What yeah. is this thing? You know, honestly, there's probably 10, 20 different ways of doing it probably easier. Maybe well, grabs another box. And then you could take this blue box here that's hinged, fold it up, put it in your pocket, or take it and move on to the next one. So you think it's a box holder? <laughs> Don't sit next to Mike on the plane, I guess. All right, what do you think? Is it a spice, cyanide pill case, musical instrument, old video game, or a box holder? <laughs> All right, let's find out what the answer is. This is a razor blade sharpener. So, well, I just, a little embarrassed actually, because I think, you know, you look at something, again, you look at something in five different ways, you get five different answers, right? Yeah, maybe even 10 sometimes. <laughs> Mike is good, all right, let's see one more. What is this thing? What is that thing? All right, let's go back to the street. All right, what is this thing? Is this a laser? Use it to draw straight lines with? Some kind of optometrist device. Grab this thing, it's got a handle on it. it looks like some magnets or a strap. I'm, I'm estimating that thing goes on a wall. Cause you look at what, the way all they are. So that baby's gonna go on a wall. You're gonna suck this crap, you put it on, boom, now it's on. The problem is that thing's aiming towards the ground. What good is that? Some kind of detection device. Now, what would you use it for? Could it shoot something? I don't know, why would you wanna shoot something? I see a bellows here. Looks like something takes a little impact and there's some shock absorbing going on. Or is that truly a handle they grab a hold of? That it, Suction cup it to the window, and then- Mike, come on, dude. Here. This is a counterweight or a battery pack in the back. They spin this thing around. Right Count now. the traffic, the foot traffic coming in out of your store. You beam it across the street here, you never know it. How fast are our cars going by? So it could be combination radar, could be- oh, Radar detector. Yeah, radar detector. <laughs> All right, that's it. Is it a laser? Is it a straight line drafting tool, an optometry device, or a- uh, detection device, gun, foot traffic, counter, radar detector. Lock in your votes and let's find out. Uh, would you like to know what it is? Yes. That's an automatic dildo machine, Mike. <laughs> automatic dildo machine. <laughs> so, all right, look, you have a pretty mechanical mind. How does that operate? Right, that uh, baby. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. uh, walk us ba through it. Like, battery now charge. That, you know what it that is. baby's gonna be vibrating around in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, I think we might need to sit Mike down and give him the talk. Thank you, Mike. Anyway, that's the educational part of our show tonight. Thanks for playing. What is this thing? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da.